Hey everybody, welcome to the first show that I'm hosting. As you all know, my name's Paul. If you're familiar with the group page, you know who I am. And if you're not familiar with the group page, then I'm just a fan of the channel. I love Ken, I love Doug, I love everybody on this on this channel, on this network. Poe, all of them. And I love old movies. I love old crappy movies. And I love old good movies. I like music. I like all that stuff. I still play video games. I'm just a kid in an old man's body. And I was thrilled that I was asked. And I hope I do a good enough job so I can stick around a little while. And if not, eh, I'm still going to watch B-Movie TV because it's the best thing on Roku. So, my first movie is Super Argo vs. Diabolicus. It's a movie that was created from a combination of the Spanish film industry and the Italian Italian film industry. Um, I don't know many of the actors. I don't know many of the actresses because I'm not familiar with this movie. This is the first time I've seen this movie. So, you know, but it's a spy movie. Um, it's very good. Well, I liked it. But then again, I really enjoy crappy movies. So, bear with me when I say it's good. Be your own judge. So... Like I said, Super Argo vs. Diabolicus. It's a spy movie. I found it interesting. I found it fun. Let's see if you find it interesting and find it fun. And then when the movie's over, we'll come back and we'll discuss. And hopefully over the next couple of weeks and whatnot, I'll be a little bit better at this. But for right now, just bear with me. A little short intro. Probably be a short outro, but I'll get better. Maybe. I don't know. It's a crapshoot. So, until the movie's over, sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you when it's done. Whoa, now wasn't that an awesome movie? It had so much action. Oh, it, I was on the edge of my seat, like literally on the edge of my seat. I do have a bad back, so that could have been part of it, but I don't know. I was on the edge of my seat. It was really good. Um, some of my favorite scenes, how about when he just came out of nowhere and stabbed him? I jumped. I dropped my soda. I was like, what the heck? He just stabbed his own guy. 
because I didn't know what was going on. And then they explained it. Oh, okay, he's indestructible. He can handle all this stuff. That was really good stuff. That was a nice montage. And then what was the other scene like? Oh, how about that crazy lady? Diabolicus is lady. Oh, man, she smacked the crap out of him with that stick. More than once, too. Ooh, that was crazy. I like that. And then the one weird part, I did like it, but they were pinned down in the factory thing there, and he went up there, and he killed those two guys that had her pinned. Uh, he killed them with a fire extinguisher. I'm a wrestling fan. All through the 90s, I saw Mick Foley spray that fire extinguisher into many a man's face, and it didn't hurt him. So I found that a little off, but it was cool. Um, my gripes were, though... It, the whole car accident thing. Like I said, they had a great montage of how good he was. Oh, he's indestructible. The only thing that can cause him pain is electricity. He died in a car accident. Uh, unless I miss something, which is known to happen because my attention span is really small. Unless I miss something, I don't understand how they would have believed for two seconds that he was killed in a car accident. But I guess you got to move the plot somehow. My other pet peeve was... How he goes, oh, they sent a Martian. I don't remember Martian being brought up either. So there were some things in there that made me question it. But all in all, it was a good movie. I thought it was good. I saw on the old webpage that it's got a sequel. I wouldn't mind seeing that sequel. But it was a good movie. I enjoyed it. I don't know if you enjoyed it, but I did. If you enjoyed it, say something on the page. If you didn't enjoy it, say something on the page. But I certainly enjoyed it. So I'd like to thank Ken and Poe for this opportunity. And uh, like I said, I come up with more ideas. Maybe you can jot some down and put it on the message board for me. The message board was this the 80s. You can put it on the group page, and I will look at them and try to figure out what's going to fit best for the show. So for now, that's it. And I'll see you next time with another movie. See ya.